All right. So on this trail, we are going to learn how to create and customize list views. So what are list views? Let's get right into it. I'm going to launch my playground on a new tab and go here. So for our course, we have a school um, example. So we are an admin for a school, for a school system. Now, if I go to the students object, if I click here and I search for students, we have a recently viewed student records this is the students we recently opened so if you want to change this to all views we can see all the students we have in the school the students data right so right now we only have two list views which is the recently viewed and everybody so now we want to filter or add a list for the grade 5 teacher. Let's say the grade 5 teacher's name is Mrs. King. Patricia King maybe. So Mrs. King wants to see only her students. She doesn't want to see everybody, right? Let's help her out. So when the teacher logs in into the school um, Salesforce org, she will only see um, the students that is grade five. So pretending to her class or the class she teaches. Okay, so let's create a new list. We can do that by clicking new here. And then, oh no my bad we are going to click this gear icon list view controls and new over here new over here okay new and let's name it grade 5 students okay so who can see this view if you say only I can see the list view this is you you are logged in as the system administrator okay you can also choose everybody can see this or share list view with group of users who like you can share it with the grade 5 teachers okay so for example for this particular example i'm going to choose all users so all teachers that log in to the school system can see all the students okay so all users can see this list view there I'm going to save that. So we have a new grade 5 students um, list view, but it's still showing everybody. So what changes? Nothing yet. Because we just create a new one and just have the name. Now on the right side here, we can add filters, right? I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to change the field to grade equals 5, right? So just the grade 5 students. I'm going to hit done and save. Now you see here, we are only seeing grade 5 students. So, But how do we know? It's just showing the name. Let's add some more information on the list view here. So I'm going to click here again and select fields to display. So not just the name because that's not enough information, right? The, just the name. I want to put the grade, right? And I also want to put the teacher. Who is the teacher? Okay. So I'm going to save that. Now you have it. So this 
is all the grade five students, but only a couple have a teacher because it's a new school year and we haven't assigned a bunch of teachers, a bunch of um, student their teacher. So that's pretty much it about um, list view. So list view can uh, use filter. You can filter more. Say you just want to display a, a more precise information. You can add more filters here. And if you can, if you want to add more uh, fields to the display, you can change it here. So you can also, yeah, you can also make it more precise. So grade five students whose teacher is Mr. J, for example. Okay, just Mr. J's, just Mr. J's students. To do that, we are going to change this. The teacher is Mr. J. And save. There. Now we only have two students for Mr. J. So that's pretty much it. Let's go back to um, the trail here. Also on this trail, we have done this, create LS view. We have also add a filter. We have also customized the list view, the column to display. Also, we want to add a chart, right? A list view chart. What is this chart? Let's go back here. So, to do the chart, I want to uh, I want to remove the filter, or I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. Or actually, if I change back to all here, for all the students, I want to see um, how many in grade one, how many in grade two, all the way to grade twelve. How many? for each grades, right? I'm gonna create a new chart over here. A new chart, chart name, grade segmentation, okay? I wanna make a pie chart, a donut chart, aggregate type count. What do you wanna count? I want to count the grade, right? Um, Grouping field is the grade. Aggreg no, ag uh, grouping field is the grade two. Yeah, that's right. Let's save that and see how that looks. I want to maybe aggregate um, student name or just count individual individual record so I'm, I'm gonna choose record ID there and I'm gonna group by grade okay see how that looks there grade 7 we have whoa, a lot of grade 7s grade 5 we have 50 grade 3 48 and so on and so forth Okay, so we have 900 grade sevens. So if it's pretty few, it's just combining it together. Like you can hover there, other grade four, grade six, grade one, grade three, grade five. So it's gonna look like that. So that's the charting part of the list view, which is pretty cool, right? um that's that's pretty much it so we have a hands-on challenge here let's do this while we are um, on this video together lance park one of ursa major solar sales reps wants to see a list of opportunities that are in the late stages of negotiation or have have high probability to close or both step into Lance's shoes and make that happen. So we are going to create a new um, list view for opportunities. Go back here. I'm going to go to opportunities here. Right. 
right and we are going to create a new list view not a new record again I did the same mistake again here new list view it's called high probability opportunities I want all users to be able to see this and save. So it's showing everything right now. So let all users, which we did, the list should only show opportunities whose stage is proposal or price quote or negotiation slash review. Okay, let's do that. The stage of it, stage is the filter, right? Equals this one, right? And this one, okay? Equals proposal slash price quote and negotiation slash review and whose probability is greater than or equal to 50 percent whose probability another filter greater or equal than 50 percent done save there we go we have four opportunities that matches this filter so that is our challenge which is pretty easy and simple and let's head head on and check the challenge all right we should be getting 500 points what's wrong with my voice <laughs> Come on, boom, 500 points, there we go. So there we have it, you have just created a list view and learn how to add list views on your Salesforce org and help other people or the teachers or the staff or whoever is logged in to see information that's, that's only useful for them. I'll see you on the next unit. Thank <laughs> you.